celebrating the Eid al-Fitr. Now in this Katie Explainer video, we're going to tell you all about the Eid al-Fitr. Now the term Eid means festival, and the Eid al-Fitr is literally translated as the festival of breaking the fast. It's a three day long celebration to celebrate the end of the holy month of Ramadan, where Muslims around the world fast during the daylight hours. It begins with the 10th month of the Islamic calendar, which is called Shawwal. Now, to determine the beginning and end of each Islamic month, a moon sighting committee monitors the lunar cycle before making the full public announcement. Now, let us not confuse this with Eid al-Adha. There are two Eids in Islamic traditions. The other is observed to mark the Hajj pilgrimage and is known as the Festival of Sacrifice. So let's move on to how you would wish someone a happy Eid. Eid Mubarak, or Blessed Eid, and Kullu Am wa Antum Bi Khair, wishing you well-being every year, are the two common ways of exchanging the Eid greetings that you would hear along with an exchange of hugs and smiles. People will be wishing you an Eid Mubarak throughout the three days of Eid al-Fitr. Now, what does the day entail? First up, Muslims will attend a special morning prayer, which is held after the prayer at dawn called Fajr. After the prayers, there is a gathering of close family members for a big meal and plenty of sweets, which tends to be a common practice amongst many Muslims on the first day of Eid. Visits to relatives and friends normally continue throughout the festival and is often held at the house of the senior most member of the family, so these can be the grandparents or the head of the household. Therefore, many UAE expats opt to fly to their home countries to take part in the celebrations. Like Ramadan, Eid is a sacred time of prayers, reflection and forgiveness. It is a time when Muslims remember those who are less fortunate and make charitable donations and it is traditionally done before the Eid morning prayer. Now, what do you wear? Well, choosing your attire tends to be a long thought out process and most people often do the shopping for Eid during the final week of Ramadan and therefore there is a big demand for night bazaars during the days leading up to it. There are no set rules and expectations when it comes to dressing, though people prefer wearing traditional and cultural clothes. So the men would either be wearing a new kandura or shalwar kurtas across the UAE. So let's look at cultures now. In the Arab world, or here in the UAE, you'll find Emiratis celebrating the Eid al-Fitr with uzi, a local dish of slow-cooked lamb or goat mixed with rice and topped with fried pine nuts is one of the signature dishes, as well as chicken machbous, which is chicken thighs cooked in tomatoes, onions and herbs, served with basmati rice, lugimat sweets, donut style dough bowls dipped in honey. In India and Pakistan, Eid is a big festivity in this region. Females in India apply decorative mehendi or henna designed to their hands a day before. Mehendi, festive clothing, jewelry and colourful traditional bangles are the highlights of the Eid celebration for women. You'll see signature festive dishes such as the spicy and delicious mutton biryani and the special dessert shir khurma which is vermicelli pudding made of milk, raisins and chopped nuts. So this is how Eid is celebrated across the world. And from the entire team of Khalish Times, we wish you a very joyous Eid Mubarak.